Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and today I'm gonna be taking a look at the latest wave of Battle Tribes figures from Spy Monkey Creations. I've already taken a look at Battle Tribes way back when they first launched, and I've got to tell you that I absolutely love these awesome little 2.5 inch action figures. And with a brand new drop coming on February 10th, Spy Monkey Creations was kind enough to send along some early looks at this new wave so you guys can see them up close and personal before they go on sale. So let's check these out. So first of all, if you haven't already, go watch my other video on Battle Tribes. If you've never heard of these before, check them out. They are very, very cool. But let me give you guys the lowdown. As you can see, when I bring in the tape measure here, the figures stand under three inches tall. So they are tiny little figures, but they are stylized in that very classic, very vintage build with the, the muscular kind of squatted pose figures, sort of like a lot of those 5.5 inch action figures like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So they have a very similar look to that, but they're much smaller in scale and they are Glyos compatible. So for all of you out there who love your Glyos action figures, these fit right in with those. And if you don't know what that means, well, what we've got going on here is a completely modular system where the figures can pull apart at all of the joints. So check this out. You can see that I can pull these guys apart anywhere that we've got a joint on here, basically. And the Glyos peg system allows you to mix and match all of these parts. And the plastic is wonderful on these. It's solid. It's very durable. The figures feel very quality made. And it's going to really allow you to get very creative with these. So you can mix and match parts to basically make whatever you want, or you can display them exactly as they are because, let's face it, these are amazing figures. I love the overall style of these. So, you might have seen these guys right out the gate here. The highlights from this particular wave are these two repaints right here that look like some familiar characters from Thundercats. That's right, we've got a very Lion-O looking character here and a very Panthro looking character here. Just really cool little new paint decos that pay homage to those classic characters uh, just on those same Battle Tribes builds. But I gotta say that I love the paint deco here. You can see how bright and colorful these are. Um, you know, they come with all of these parts here just like we've seen on the other battle tribes figures but they're all removable and interchangeable so look if i wanted to actually pull off that kind of furry harness there i can do that on this guy and uh look at the paint deco on the body underneath it looks a lot like Lionel's actual uniform. Look, complete with the abs showing through. All right, awesome. And uh, look at the paint deco on that sword. Looks a lot like that classic LJN uh, action figure sort of omens, doesn't it? Uh, the paint deco on the eyes is wonderful because look at that. It's hard to tell maybe on the camera, but the pupils are actually red. The eyebrows are black. I just thought that was awesome. There's actually a lot of paint on these little guys. Um, so you, just like always, in the way I've always felt since the beginning, there's a lot of value in these little figures. You have a lot going on here. And you can see their articulation is nice and solid on these. Great range of motion. You know, it's pretty basic, but there's a lot going on. I mean, you can move the shoulders up and down. You can swivel at the wrists. The waist goes side to side. You got joints at the thighs there. You can also swivel at the boots. They balance wonderfully. Uh, so they look great as is. But what's so cool is every one of these figures you see standing here comes with all of these pieces. Look at this. So we have all these interchangeable parts that we can put on these figures that include multiple heads, just like we've seen on the other ones. So we've got these great dinosaur heads, which I love i love the dinosaur inspired heads but look at that great paint deco there on these we got like orc style heads we got the like barbarian head that's kind of got like the little wolf skin hat on which is very cool and we even have this cool cyclops head the lion -O inspired figure has this amazing red shield with the eye on it and then we have all these weapon options as well maces and axes and swords so it's very easy if you want to to just come up here and swap any of these parts out i can pop that head off and I can completely change the look of this guy. Or as I said, we can mix and match the parts between figures. One of the other really cool looking paint decos in this wave is this awesome steel looking guy. Check him out. He's done in this great metallic silver color with the awesome metallic gold highlights. Again, great little emblem kind of painted on his shield there. And he's got a lot of great mix and match parts as well. So, you know, if I want to change him from a Cyclops to a triceratops that's got to be my favorite head sculpt i love that head uh, but it's amazing the things that you can do with these guys to mix and match all of these parts to create so many different little warriors 
And then, of course, this wave also includes two more battle builders, which are going to be your unpainted figures. So we've got kind of like this baby blue. We got this bright orange. But again, they come with all the same pieces that all of these other figures have, all the heads, all the weapons. And these are going to be perfect for mixing and matching parts to recreate your own stuff. Uh, I've never really considered myself super good at this. I know there's a lot of really creative people out there uh, that can mix and match Glyos pieces and make some awesome stuff. But let me just give you guys an example here. I'm going to go on break this guy all the way down here look at this isn't that a crazy the way you can completely pull this guy apart Let's see if i can separate his torso here from the waist and uh let's see i don't know let's mix and match some of these gold pieces in here with this guy how about that let's just mix the parts up Boom. All right. So obviously this isn't super creative, but basically I just took the, the blue body parts here from that solid body, uh, the, the battle builder figure. I took all of these silver armor pieces from our silver and gold guy. I took this cool painted dinosaur head, which comes with the Pantro painted uh, figure there, as well as the red sword. And I basically just created my own character there. And how cool does it look? I mean, it looks like he fits right in here. And seriously, I know there's people out there that can get way more creative than I can but it's just so much fun like mixing and matching these parts and seeing what you can come up with and uh, they're just so well made they're a lot of fun I absolutely love these if you're a fan of the kind of mix and match part system type of toys or building toys or anything like that I really think you guys will get a big kick out of these so you definitely want to head on over to Facebook and follow them on Facebook because that's where they're going to stay up to date with all of the most recent information so go on Facebook do a search for the Savage Realm of Battle Tribes or head on over to www.spymonkeycreations.com. This new wave of figures will be dropping on Friday, February 10th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Definitely check it out. Very fun toys. Highly recommended. If you're looking for something new and different that kind of harkens back to the retro or vintage toy lines, I really think you guys will get a kick out of these.